Well, hello there, Go Growers. Here today with another video, a little bit of a different video this time. Today, we're having an achievement video. Achievements, and not just for video games anymore. So, in my previous video about the Go Grow app, I talked about how for writers, they have badges, and when you achieve a certain milestone or get a certain status, you'll get a badge. So the badge I'm trying to get today is the 70 kilometer badge. Now, according to the Go Grow website, a Go Grow smart scooter can get up to 100 kilometers on one charge. Now, I live in Taichung City, which is usually a pretty flat place, but where I go to work is actually on a bit of an incline. So I don't think I'll be able to get the 100 kilometer badge, but I can try for the 70 kilometer badge. Now, according to the Go Grow website, in order to get that 100 kilometer range, you have to keep the Go Grow scooter under 40 kilometers an hour. So I just replenished the Go Grow with two fresh new fully charged batteries. And according to the dashboard, I have 77.6 kilometers remaining. So let's see if I can hit that 70 kilometer badge. So just finished my first trip from the Go Grow store to my place of work. You can see I traveled 2.3 kilometers and I have 74.2 remaining. So we're well on our way. I should also mention that I've been keeping a running total of every time I switch the battery, how many kilometers I've traveled, how much was remaining, and how much it said at the beginning I should be able to get out of one charge. And usually I average around, on my normal trips, I usually average around 55 kilometers a trip or 55 kilometers a charge. The highest I've gotten is about 62. So let's see if we can get that 70 kilometer batch. So end of the first day, 70.4 remaining. Originally at 77, and we traveled 8.2. So we're off to a good start. Let's see if we can keep it up. All right, so at the end of day two, we've traveled a total of 22.3 kilometers. We have 59.9 kilometers remaining. And what's been interesting is as I've been driving, I've been driving very conservatively, keeping it around low 30s, mid 30s, 35, 34, around there. I almost hit, I actually did hit 40 today quickly corrected that. But what's been interesting is as I've been driving, the amount remaining is constantly changing. So when I left my place of work, it was at uh, 62, then we go down to like 62, 61.9, then back up to 62.3, then 2.2, .2 and then maybe you go back to 60.9, and then 61.2, and it's constantly changing. And the people at the GoGro store said that this will constantly update based on how you're using the throttle and the smart system and how everything's going. So let's see how the experiment continues. So beginning of day three here, just finished my morning commute. And you can see we lost our first bar on the battery gauge. Today I actually hit 42 kilometers an hour for a few seconds while overtaking a guy. Have uh, 55 kilometers remaining and we have traveled 27.4 kilometers so far. So still looks like we're on track We'll keep going. So just finished with work, about to head home. We're gonna do an experiment on top of our experiment. So right now our trip is at 27.4. We have 55 kilometers remaining. So I'm curious to see what the remaining will be compared to the trip when I get to my destination. Uh, there will be some regenerative braking going on, so I will be going downhill. So that will probably affect it, but let's just give it a shot and see what happens, what kind of results we get. All right, so made it home, end of day two, 32.4. So that's a difference of five kilometers. So we travel five kilometers back and 51.5. So 3.5 kilometer difference. Interesting. So we'll see how day four goes. Today was day three. Tomorrow's day four, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, yeah, something like that. All right, so beginning of day four, you can see that our remaining has gone up 0.2 tenths of a mile. So we're gonna do the experiment in reverse and see what our remaining and our trip will look like today. All right, so just finished the morning commute up the hill. We have 46.8 remaining, so that's a difference of 4.9. And our trip this time was 5.2, so Again, I've been trying to use a lot of the regenerative braking by just coasting when I can going downhill, but going up the hill obviously takes a lot of that energy away. So we'll keep going and see how it goes. 
All right, end of day four, 42.5 on the odometer and 43.9 remaining. Still driving like an Agon going under 40 kilometers an hour, but hey, it's getting us there. All right, end of day five, end of the week, end of the work week at least. We lost another bar on the battery meter, 54.2 for our trip and 34.5 remaining. End of day six, 65.3 on the trip. 25.9 remaining. I think we're gonna make the 75. All right, it has been one week since we changed the battery on the GoGoRo, and we've done it. 75.4 as I end today's commute back home. You can see we're down to two bars on the battery indicator, which apparently is around 27% according to the app. And we have 17.5 remaining on the dial. So. We're gonna see how long we can let it ride. Just finished the morning commute, 80.5 on the odometer. One bar remaining in the battery. And 11.8 remaining. So, today might be the day we need to go get new batteries. Okay, end of day nine. And we have surpassed even what our remaining, when we first got the battery said we're at 85.5 on the odometer. With 8.7 remaining, we still have one bar uh, on the battery display. Not too sure, we'll have to check the app what percentage it says that is. So I can almost taste 100 kilometers. I wonder if we can do it, if we'll get the 100 kilometers. I'll have to see. We're gonna drive. We're gonna go all the way to the end. And even when I was driving today, uh, it was at 10.5 one moment then it went down to 9.7 and then just like a second later it actually jumped back up to 10.4 so it's it's constantly updating hopefully we can keep that charge and maybe maybe we'll make a hundred let's hope fingers crossed so day number nine on our 75 kilometer challenge as you can see it is a rainy day here in Taiwan the plum rains have arrived so I've decided for the sake of the experiment and the safety of myself I'm going to end it here. We achieved our 75 kilometer goal, which is great. Next time, we'll have to see if we can do 100 kilometers. I think that will be a time when I'll have to make sure where I'm traveling is always on a flat road and I'm not going up any kind of a grade. Uh, if that was the case, I might have done it. But let's take a look at exactly how many kilometers we got this time. So after nine and a half days of travel, we have done 88.6 kilometers. Today is actually day 10, but it's the morning, so we'll just call it day nine and a half. 5.7 remaining, and as you can see, our battery is gone. It's blinking and it's giving me the low battery warning announcement, or warning sound, and it is also in motor derating mode. So as you can plainly see, you can potentially get a 100 kilometer range on one charge of the GoGoRo. You are gonna wanna keep it under 40 kilometers an hour, I was keeping mine closer to 35 or so. Uh, you're gonna make sure, you wanna make sure you're on a flat surface, not going up any inclines. Uh, as I said, when I commute to work, I am going up an incline, but then I get some of that energy back when I'm coming down the hill. But if you had a flat surface, kept it under 40, you could certainly surpass 100 kilometers. As I've shown, uh, I did 80 kilometers, and that's even in one day I had my wife on the back of the scooter for one trip. So it is certainly possible to get a pretty good distance, a pretty good range, especially for any kind of commuting or short distance driving that you might be doing on the GoGoRo. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.